Okay, a brand new day. Day 35, 9.33 in the morning. We're carrying a bit of an injury, which I'll get into in a second, but first things first, it's breakfast time. What are we having? We have some canned fruit, tomato sauce. We're going to have some dried meat because it's been left there for a while now, and I don't know how much longer it's got. So let's just munch down on this. That's going to speed the healing process up as well. We're nice and full, so let's just drink all this. Yeah, if you guys are wondering how I uh, sprained my ankle, basically gathering logs and trying to do everything overly quick. And I realized that it doesn't work that way. I'll explain in a second in more detail. Right, let's go and fill this up. Got plenty of water, so I'm not needing to worry about that. Just doing my normal checks. A lot of you guys have been asking that how I start the day and stuff like that. So I thought I'd show you all. And then this. Okay, let's get rid of some of that food. We got one in reserve. And get rid of you too. Make them all nice and organized. And then what's this one. Ooh, the Molotovs. That's right. I need to use or make all the Molotovs. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. And then that should free up some space for this one. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to try and organize everything a little bit better further down the line. It's fine as it is right now. Okay, so like I said, guys, welcome back, everyone, to Miss Survival. So, day 35, I have been busy. <laughs> it might not look it, but I have been busy. I've been... Asking Scott for some help chopping down trees, and I gotta tell you all, he throws some mood swings to the point where he just refuses, and I mean point blank refuses, to do anything. Eventually, when he got around to doing it though, he obliterated the entire area, as you can see from everywhere here. Now, it's really weird. I don't understand exactly how it all works. Oh, give me that. I don't exactly understand how it all works with Scott, but I, I think maybe it's just a roll of the dice when he decides to cut things down or not, because most of the time, he just comes over to these, like, shrubs or these small bushes, smacks the hell out of them, and then he takes a break. Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, that's enough. I'm just going to wait here. But eventually, as you can see, he did chop down so many of the logs that I was able to shave them down into planks and then use them in that foundation and ramp over there. Now, I've put it down there just because that's the flattest area that I've got, and let's be honest, that road isn't going to be used in an apocalypse, so it's not like it's going to inconvenience anyone, and I kind of like it away from where we're living you know two separate spots if i can put something like over here to spread out the area a little bit then it will look very apocalyptic at least in my opinion i've got to obviously play around with not having the walls now just because it's going to really bug me but i'm happy with that and i can i think i can use the foundations again and a lot of you guys have been saying that i can use the cabin if i want to switch to a different area now i do want to let you guys know something because you keep giving me tips some that are really, really helpful. I don't know if you guys know about this one. While I was chopping down trees, I actually needed the uh, the leaves to get the rope with or make the rope with or the lashing. And I realized it was taking a long, long time unless you have the chainsaw, which I'll throw a little clip of me chopping down trees with the chainsaw. Hey, it's actually really, really good. Ah. Ah. But I found if you do this, if you say, for example, this is an axe, you can do it with a knife too. It's fine, but I'm just going to show you the animation. When you're chopping down a tree, if you hold left click, you get that kind of thing, but with an axe, right? Where it's chopping the tree. If you hold left click and then interrupt it with right click, it kind of interrupts the anim animation. So you can do this. There you go. Look how much quicker that is. So I don't know. I actually don't realize if it uses the durability of the weapon up quicker. I don't know how long that's going to be in the game. So take advantage of it as best you can. I know a lot of people like those little things like that where you can do things, like I guess, a lot more optimally. I think that's the right way of saying it, or efficiently, I guess. But yeah, just a little tip from me while I was chop chopping down some stuff. But I'm going to show you all what I've been working on over here because the garage is almost done. And oh boy, this has taken me a long time. Primarily because... You remember at the very beginning, I said I didn't want to use the loot's refresh, which is this thing. Now, I'm a little bit disappointed that I did have to use the loot's refresh like twice, I think it was. or Twice, maybe three times in order to get the concrete blocks. Because to be honest with you guys, it was just taking so incredibly long. I would go along my normal loot runs. <laughs> I would go along my normal loot runs. And then not find a single thing. I would leave the construction area, come back, there'd be like one or two. And it was honestly, guys, it was taking day after day after day to get this done. 
The minute that I used this, oh my goodness, everything was there. Everything. I was getting like 16 to maybe even 18 concrete blocks and the concrete bags and stuff. This thing was thrown up in the space of like half a day. So here we are. Just a quick tip from me. Obviously, the game is still under development, so you're going to get that. But this is what we got left. 25 left and the blueprint. Now, if you guys will remember, we actually helped somebody out who had a horrible car accident over there who gave us a blueprint. And I think this might be for that. If it's not, then I remember getting a blueprint from somewhere else. And I'm kind of worried about that because I'm not entirely sure if that's where we're going to go. So... Let's get this. Oh, 16. Oh, yeah. This is the problem I'm going to run into now. Let me just throw you into there. We got two here. Can we get those other two? You got to kind of do it by halves or this much each time. And can we get eight? No. Can we split that four again? No. All right. Let's just do that then. This is going to burn a bit of the day, but at least we're going to build it together. So 25 left. It's going to take two hours. While I have been building this too, I have to keep an eye out because of all this green... I've been kind of building it. Where was that spot? There. I've been kind of building it so I can see out my peripheral if the mist is coming in because it's so dangerous. When your face is in here like that, you can't see what's going out here. So again, just keep your head on a swivel. Right, 13. So we got this one here. That's 16. Let's grab the four and the four. Split. And then eight. No, four. Let's get that again. Almost there, though. I'm really hoping that blueprint that we have is the thing that we need. Because otherwise, you guys already know. I'm sure a lot of you already know. I think I've got to go down into the mine. Which we haven't been yet. So, four and then eight. I think this should be it. And then I'm not entirely sure where I put the... Oh, it's only... Okay, I thought it was a little bit more than that. I thought we had like eight left. So, we've got all of that in there. Now, you can see the walls coming together too. That flickering... Oh, my God. I don't know where it is lately, but flickering with stuff like that is really distracting for me. <laughs> Maybe I've got something wrong with you guys. I don't know. And the Molotovs, I can come back to that. That's just the locker that I've been keeping for stuff. I've also not made more lockers. I did go ahead and do what you guys said just because it was bugging the hell out of me with the way I had them set up with all of the loot runs that I had to do. So, yeah, I just bit the bullet and ended up doing this. I think I can fit two more in, possibly even three if I stack them really awkwardly. But let's see. We've got some logs there and that. Right, so the blueprint is going to be back inside. The question is, <laughs> where? Because I don't remember where I put that thing. Oh, my poor heart. I thought I got rid of it. I really, really thought I got rid of it or maybe left it on the floor or something. Okay, yeah, we're good. So as you can see, I have been like putting things around, trying to keep it all neat as well. I don't want it all scruffy. I've got like the little cases down here too. Got this in case I don't really want anything. But yeah, we're looking okay. Still good for space. Now the question is, <laughs> is it going to work? Oh, it does. Oh, we're so lucky with that. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, that's really fleshed out. I didn't think it would look anything like that. I thought it would be like the beginnings of a build. Wow, that looks really good. Does that light up? Oh, I would love for that to light up if you can get like a generator or something. I know it'd be stupid to do that, but it'd be so cool at the same time. Like, it's got all power and things. Ooh. Oh, can we not use them? It's got all the fluorescent lighting above too, the tubing. Can't turn any of this off. Oh, Jerry can. What's that say? Gab Gabriel? I'm really impressed with that. All right, let's have a look inside the actual shop then. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's so good that you've got that on here. So it's almost like we've been taking notes or maybe we grab the board from the checkpoint to keep this as if it's like evidence of something we can use later on down the line. Oh my God, I love that. We've got the entry code down there too, 4762. Somebody told me what this meant as well. It was like a, maybe a grid reference or something like that. Yeah, one of you guys in the comments, well, I know a lot of you guys are, but one of you guys in the comments is way smarter than me when it comes to stuff like this. No idea what that is. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And somebody said there is, oh, there's a spot where you can read this and it's really clear. Was it this maybe? I can kind of work out what it says. The UN something, yeah, no. I like to think I've got good vision, but I can't even make that out. What's this for? Is this just for tools or something? Like just hanging up a sledgehammer or something like that? And then we've got shelves, toolbox, fire extinguisher and a flashlight. Oh, can we use that? Disinfectant warning. Police, fire, ambulance, hospital. This is all new. I've not seen this yet. What does that say? You will never take us alive. You goddamn right. Oh, there's a bed down here as well. 
So is this like Gion's spot then? Is this where she's going to be living? Is this just her entire setup? Or is it just for anyone, any other survivors that are around? Ooh, tuning. What? Part storage. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. I was hoping it would have this too, like the little bit of protection there. Okay, we've got everything. I might need to make some gears and get some more high quality metal, but that's definitely doable. And then the machine gun. More gears, more high quality metal. Okay, or scrap. And then... Yeah, I think that I think that screws. And then I guess you make it here. Part storage. But what's that other one for? What's this for? Tuning task. Alright, I guess we can see that in a sec. Oh, hey Gion! What's that? Just a rear axle? You're already getting to work. Oh, look at you go! <laughs> You're happy now? Don't side eye me like that. I got you your own your own garage. You like it? I get I bet you're happy, Adria. All right, let's have a look upstairs. I really, really do like this spot. Look at that. The clothes hanging from the stairs, too. That's a nice touch. 445, no return. What is that? Is that frequency that they've been checking? Tires just on the walls. It's a little spot to chill, eat some food. Try and get some sense of normality going. Alyssa stuff. Plastic. This is all really, really... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Somebody's getting sick. This is really, really impressive. I didn't think it would look anything like this. I honestly thought it would be a shell, like a bare bones of everything. But even if this is just like a an asset or something, it's still... Well, it, it probably is, but obviously like with little additions of stuff. Looks really, really good. I'm impressed. Gion, I like your style. Okay, let me bring my, uh, let me bring my vehicle in. Oh, wait, it's this one around here, isn't it? All right, we got plenty of fuel, right? Yeah, we got five liters of fuel something we do not have to worry about oh okay so also i got so many of you guys telling me about the road when i mentioned about the car flipping and i uh, i do want to mention it as well so a while ago generally what happened is when you were in a vehicle sometimes there would be like a weird thing in the road where it would catapult you up into the atmosphere and your car would end up on its roof well apparently it's still a thing but in certain areas and you guys have said like somewhere along this road that's why i've been taking it easy around here it can happen but there is a fix for it now. If you make the car jack, you can flip the vehicle back up, which is, oh, it's so amazing that they, that's been added to the game. Oh, look how smooth that was. Right, and then what? There? Does that work? Oh, that's so good. Wait, we need to go forward a little bit. I need it right. Let's just creep forward just a bit. And there? Oh, perfect. Look at that. Gian, look at my driving. I'm so proud of myself with that ramp as well because I really got worried about this lip. I thought it wouldn't get in, but that's so smooth. Okay, so we've got this in here now. And in order to make... I don't know if I'm going to make the bumper. Do I have to make that? Let's just see if we can get this going first because this is like the base for the turret. So we need the mount. We need the, uh, the actual crate. Four gears and then it, it's, this thing is going to be the thing that trips me up it's the high quality scrap or metal as i keep calling it so we're, we're gonna have to go back and check that i don't have any in here right wait yeah no i don't have any in there i thought i saved some i might have moved everything back inside the house what time are we on okay we're all right we've still got a few hours until we need to go our head down are we looking for food and water oh yeah we needed something to drink so easy to neglect like what your body needs when you're doing stuff like this there we go and let's make the screws first i think I, i'm pretty sure i needed 64 that's going to burn like just over an hour i'm going to craft it myself just so it's done and it's the gears so i've got i've definitely got seven gears because i've got five up there i've got two down here and if we're going to be able to make this anywhere i think it's going to be outside let me just double check real quick. I'm actually going to throw all of this upstairs for the time being. So I know where everything is. Okay, so I just double and then triple checked. And I think this is the only like scrap that I have or high quality metal scrap that I have. The 8 and the 7. To be honest with you guys, I'm not entirely sure where I got that from. I think I may have just found it. Or it was from breaking down vehicles. So I guess that's going to be my go-to. And because obviously we've refreshed the loot as well. That might help us out. Let me just place some of this stuff in here real quick. I just want to get rid of that. And that's going to be a bit of a reminder for me as well to make the Molotovs and smell anything down that I need to do. Okay, so we should have everything that we need now. Oh, look at Gion. She's moved. 
leaning against the bench. It's like you know what we're about to do, right, Gion? So let's wait. What do you actually have? Whoa! Talk. Greet. Are you going to say anything different now? Is there anything to fix? Uh, kind of. Let me just have a look at this first. So we've got that, and then let's make this. There we go. Assign work, and then... Cannot assign task to survivor. Your workshop is too far from the base shelter. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to do it just because of where I've placed it. That's fine. I can do it. And then we've got it now. So if we go over to this side now for putting it onto the vehicle, is that right? Aha, there we go. So install. Nice. And then assign. That's going to take 10 hours. <gasps> okay, yeah, no. Hold on a second. Let me back out of that. We're at five o'clock. Ooh. That's going to be so risky doing it here because <laughs> I think I could get attacked. Could probably build some stuff so they can't get up, but yeah, let me just, <laughs> let me be safe with this just in case. Because I, I don't want to break anything here. I want to make sure that I, I use this right. This might take like two days to do, which seems a little bit excessive, but yeah, I'm just going to get some sleep, refresh the day, and then we'll take it from there. Oh my god! Oh, that scared the shit out of me then! <gasps> okay, it's pretty early on. I think I have some company. Oh, we did. Scott might have taken care of him. Nice going, Scott. Right, what did you have? You had some salt. Is it only one of you guys? I think these have been working, by the way. I think they were worth throwing up. I still need to do a couple more around the back there. Back there, but... Yeah, we're all right. Some components. Right, there we go. Five o'clock in the morning. I think we should be okay to start doing this now. So I'm going to attempt it. But I can't see anything like that. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I actually don't... <laughs> I don't even need to be there for it. But that's fine, because I can go around and obviously make sure that I've got everything else that I need for the actual machine gun. So, uh, machine gun part. Okay, I only needed two of them, and we got seven. Oh, my God, we do have enough. Oh, I'm so happy about that. And then I can do this one really quick as well, which will... Oh, of course, the battery's dead. Gear, flashlight and then recharge them. You don't realize how dark it is this early on in the morning. It really, really is. Let's go and get that machine gun. It's worth having a look around this area too. I will say the one downside, I don't know if this is because of Scott or because I have refreshed the loot like once or twice. It's causing stutters every now and again. I don't know if you guys are picking up on that. That's just another like performance thing that I think is going to get fixed. But yeah, it's either you with all your goddamn sticks or it's because there's like loot stacking on top of each other either way it's, it's fine like we've always said early access is early access you got to expect these type of things but yeah just a heads up for you guys in case you run into it okay so we've got i think everything that we need here i've just got to get the uh the gears from downstairs and then we've got the ammunition too i don't actually know how you put the ammunition into the vehicle and you've just got to have it on us we'll see I'm so excited to see what this looks like. All right, let's have a look at this. So we got the four gears. Oh, I'm going to have <laughs> too much weight on me, right? No. Oh, that's beautiful. I can't run, but that's fine. We get everything that we need. Oh, yeah. It's still extremely dark. We can barely see where we're going, but oh, my God. I've got a big smile on my face right now. I've been waiting for this for what feels like an eternity, guys. It really, really did. Especially when I didn't use the, uh, the refresh the loot and I was just going around picking everywhere absolutely clean and i really want to know what this 50 cal can do against things like the seekers i'm sure you do too let's find out storage machine gun we can make that can we definitely not craft that even with geon yeah i would have thought that with it being close here or being designated to this spot i mean yeah i'm not, I'm not too mad about that that's fine that's my fault completely for uh for placing this far away from the base. 50 meters, though? That seems a little bit 
too close. Maybe maybe 100, 150 or something. <laughs> That'd be nice. And tune in. Oh, we can see our character there. Well, almost. <laughs> we got the bumper and machine gun. Install part. Turret system must be installed first. Okay, got it. So this is going to take a minute. Well, actually, it's at 60%, so it's not as slow as I thought it was going to be. And we're at... Ooh, this is going really quick. So why did that say 10 hours then? That's definitely not 10 hours. Either way, though, I think we've got to play a little bit of a waiting game right now. But this is going to be beautiful because by the time the sun comes up over the horizon, I think we'll already be fitting the uh, the machine gun. So I guess I'll check back in with you guys in a second. Is it time for breakfast? It's always time for breakfast. Let's go and get something to eat. Oh, it's working now. Okay, I thought I broke something on it before. Maybe, like, let it run out of fuel or something like that. I'll show you guys really quick how this works. I mean, I know you would have seen it before, but... Yeah, if you want to start this thing up, let me just put it away and show you guys again. So, once you've got the chainsaw, you can see it is on 57.8. I wonder if that's because of the actual chain, though. Because we do have replacements in there. But all you got to do is you hold F and it pulls the pull cord. There we go. She's moving. And then... There you go. You got a tree down. Now, again, I'm not entirely sure if you take down the stump, if that completely removes the tree. But I've been trying to avoid that where possible. But when I was actually getting all this stuff, I was just like this here. You see that? That's one leaf. And that actually just gives us one leaf. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're going to try and make lashing, try and hold on to this stuff. It does say that Scott can hold it. But I'm not entirely sure that he does. Because when I asked him to, he only had like, after three hours of getting the logs... And I was in the area too. He only had like two leaves. So I did have to do that myself. That's where I discovered the uh, the little tactic of using that like that. So yeah. Hopefully you guys using it and it goes a lot smoother for you. But I think, I think the base of the turret should be ready now. So let's take a look. No, it's not ready. What is going on, Gion? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's back on it now. Basically, I just went out of it and back into it. It says installed here and it's actually showing now. Does it show here? Ah, there we go. So we just couldn't see it for a second. God, look at that. We've already got the uh, the thing on the side ready for the ammunition. Right, let's go ahead and see if we can get this on then. So we've already made this. And that should be here, ready to go. So we want to go down to this. And then, ooh, what's that? <laughs> oh, no, please don't break. Install. And then assign task. Has that worked? Oh, there we go. 1%. Okay, yeah, it's, it's doing it. So, there we go. We can see where the me the machine gun's going to be, the 50 cal. And there's the uh, the belt going into... Oh, that's so good! I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe I've broke something, but... There we go. Our vehicle is working now. How long is that going to take? Let's see. 4%. Yeah, it's only going to be like an hour or two. So, I think what I'm going to do then, while this is still working, what we're going to say is Gion is actually doing work on that. I don't know if there's any animations or anything for that. But let's just say Gion is working on this for now. And then we can make four Molotovs. We're looking really good right now. I don't want to get overconfident, but we are looking very, very good in terms of like what we've got to use against anything we come across. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about, I've just had a thought. Once I make that vehicle, I wonder if we can actually stay out in the mist as long as we've got ammunition and just basically farm those creatures for anything that they were holding when they were human. That could be really, really good. Like a good way of getting some stuff. I mean, I know we're going to be using the 50 cal, but even so. Oh, the carjack takes three gears. Wait, 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 wait. No, we have enough. Yeah, because I've got I've got the uh, the metal ingot. Let's just go ahead and do that then real quick. Because it's always going to be good to have the carjack on us while we're out. Let's go ahead and make one of those. It's going to burn a little bit of time too, but that's fine. Ooh. Ooh, that got dark then. No, we're okay. Right, we still have that on us, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we've got the three ingot now. I just need some uh, some scrap. I think everything should be done now back in the uh, in the garage. I think Gion would have worked a magic and we've now got the, uh, the machine gun. But is it this one? Yeah. Let's grab a stack of that. Two stacks just in case. Just want to make sure that I've got this, this car jack now. I'm probably going to miss something here, right? <laughs> I always do this. Yep. Oh, that's going to take a minute. Just listening. Oh, we're good. Wow. Okay. There's no way I'm that lucky. Right. Let me just put you in there for a second and that in there too. Look at this thing. 
That just looks really good as well. I wonder if you actually see the car jack when, you, when you're flipping the vehicle. Something tells me it's not there yet. Maybe it is, because I've been surprised so far by this update. But yeah, we have that now. So if the vehicle does literally go onto its roof, we have something that can remedy that now. So put that into there. Perfect. I just hope... Oh, wait a minute. I've just thought of something. We can't put that in here, right? Yeah, no, there's no space. I've just had a thought. I wonder if when the vehicle goes on its roof, if the lockers break. I'd rather have the car than the lockers, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking if I should keep it on me. That's quite a lot of weight, though. Either way, all right, that's something I can mess around with later. I might have to test that as well. Gion, are you done? It stopped flashing, so maybe that means it is. Tune in. Okay, let's see. Mountain. Oh, boy. Where is it? Okay, so last time I actually came in here when this wasn't showing, it was like here on the side as an installed part. Maybe I just need to give it a bit more time because I do... I do have it. Yeah, there we go. I do have it, but it's not showing up. Like, it's not able to be shown on the car. Aha! If you're wondering if I was sat there the whole time, the answer is yes. <laughs> I waited to see if I installed it like that. Okay, so that works. And then tuning and then go to this. And then install. Inst wait, 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 wait. Why did it do that? Install and then assign. Isn't that what I did last time? Oh, there we go. Okay, so it is working. All right, we're doing the exact same thing. I'm just going to stare at this until it's done. I'm not leaving this area until that machine gun is mounted. The bad news is I may have to go back and make the car jack now because I had to do a quick reload because something was broken. Just one more percent. That's all we need. Oh, there it is. Look at it. I think where it went wrong was somewhere along the install line. And I think it's because of Geon being over 50 meters away. You'll remember how I tried to assign Gion or somebody else to build the part for us, and it was giving me that error message. Well, I think what you could do is possibly throw down like a tent or a temporary shelter here, as if that's your new base, and then this is 50 meters inside of that range, and then it works that way. But for some reason, Gion's just disappeared. Is she on the roof? <laughs> like, you, you all saw that. Oh, there she is. What are you doing under there, Gion? You're just inspecting the <laughs> that side eye every time. It just it makes me want to run away. All right, let's take this for a spin then. So, what don't we have right now? I have all of this stuff. This is just the clothing that I wanted to go through. I can use this for trading as well. I've been keeping this here for that. Some ammunition. We'll keep hold of you, and the rest of it. I think I'm going to keep hold of. Actually, let me have a look. Do I have? <laughs> Am I wearing clothes? Yeah. Okay. I need a vest. Possibly a helmet. But that's got that's not too bad for space, in all honesty. If I do use this just to go around with, but let's go inside. Let's start her up. Put a little bit of music on. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's enjoy this. Right. Easy does it. Please don't break. Please don't break. Oh, he's so smooth. Let's get it to the side. Let's have a look at it then. So if I press one now. Oh, <gasps> Oh, yeah, look at that. I didn't think it would have an animation. I just thought it would pop straight up. Okay, so we don't have anything in the 50 cal right now. All right, let me work on that then. So I think I've got plenty of ammunition. Let's go back underneath. That's so cool how it actually has an animation where it goes up like that. So if I go back over to the base then and grab the, uh, the ammunition, keep it on us or in the vehicle, that should work, right? Or maybe I have to actually feed it into this. That could be cool. Okay, we should have everything that we need. Just going to lock everything down tight. And Rachel, take care of everything. Oh, actually, let me just double check something. Rachel, talk, and then looking for me. You have any apples? Okay, so I need to find apples. Now, with the uh, loot refresh, I might be able to get that so we can get the old compass. Uh, I'll try and find them. No problem, Rachel. Scott, what did you have? Because there's a quest for Scott, too, and I've totally forgot what it was. Scott? Where you at, big guy? Where you hiding? He was here just a second ago. Scott! Check around back. 
He likes, there he is. Okay, I was just going to say, he likes to wander off sometimes. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, it's so easy to get a sprain off that. Hey, Scott. Right. Talk. Hey, I just found a strange creature. What's this? We call it Sting. Burning is the only way we can just... Oh, the thing in the tunnel. Okay, the, the, if you remember the weird creature that we found sat down in the corner in the tunnel. I can show you how to make a Molotov. Just bring me one empty... Okay, we know all of this anyway. Got it. Okay, so I just realized something. Because I reloaded my save to get the turret working, I actually haven't made the Molotovs yet. So I've got everything that I can to give Scott. So we can get that quest done. And I'm also going to get the, uh, the car jack. Because I thought while I'm out with that, if that thing flips, I am stranded. So I want to make that too, just in case. So the first thing we need to do is make another one of these again. Let's craft that. Please, weather, don't change. As in mist, don't come in. Actually, I'm not too worried about it now, to be honest. Uh, we're still good. And then what we want to do is head back inside. I'm carrying so much stuff, so I'm really heavy right now. I think the actual car jack doesn't take too long, like an hour or something. But Scott, seeing as though you're here, talk. And then one empty bottle, one booze, one rag, one powder detergent. Also increases efficiency. Hand over. Hand over items. Nice. Quest complete. So we have now actually got a Molotov too. So if we talk to you again, Scott, we've got nothing left. Perfect. So I just need to find an apple for Rachel now. Let me just double check that too. Rachel, talk. Yeah. Oh, two apples. Okay, that's weird. I don't even know if I found two apples. Oh, okay. So it doesn't actually have reload. No. Okay, so that just turned my lights on. Oh, wait, I can connect, actually control the car from the turret? Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, no wonder it took so long. Gion has, like, constructed some kind of weird mechanism where we can control the car from turret position. Right, let me just get out of this for a second. I really didn't expect that. I thought it'd be completely stationary while, while we were up there. So let me put this. There's nothing that I can see that says that I have to load. God, that looks so good. But there's nothing that I can see that says I have to load anything. So, just put that in there, I guess. Put the Molotov in there too. And we're going to have a quick drink too. There's a lot to actually think about. I know a lot of you guys were asking though, in terms of like crafting things. You do want to see a mixture of it where we're going out causing chaos, but also getting things done too. Because I do tend to like to do that a lot more off screen. Because for me, I just feel like you guys don't want to watch that. But I've been getting a lot of messages saying that a lot of you do. So, I'll try and keep that included as well. Oh, you can start the car from here. Oh, there we go as well. I can see 135 rounds we've got. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay, this. This absolutely levels the playing field now. I think. I think. The only way we're going to find out is if we make our way over there. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Let's go. Right, I'm going to keep you guys with me for this as well. There are areas that are really sketch around here too. Ooh. Few stutters. Oh, careful now. Please don't break. Please don't break. Just slow. Oh, wait. This doesn't feel like it's got as much power as the uh, as the pickup. Maybe because of the weight that we've added to it now. Easy over there we go. Okay, it was that bit there. Sometimes when I'm driving the, uh, the pickup over that, there's like a weird thing that flicks from left to right. And it always makes me nervous. Let's pull up here. Don't know how far it is until these things see me. So, it's time to switch to the turret. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I can check this area over too without worrying about these things. Where are you at? You ugly pieces of shit. Don't see any movement. Nothing hiding in the cornfield. Oh, I see them. There they are. They're both together too. I can't really zoom in with this. What what you see is what you get. So let's go a bit closer. I wonder if they attack the truck. We just open fire on them. Oh my god, that's so much fun. Wow, they're so strong though. I mean, those are 50 cal rounds. Yeah, they are absolutely tanks. 
Look at that. We're down to 95 now. We may have to make some more. I'm thinking that I'm really only going to use this for them unless there's something else that I'm, I'm not aware of or I've not seen yet. Right, engine off. That was so worth the wait, though. Let's grab the, uh, the Molotov. Put that on slot number one. And just in case, <laughs> let's keep the shotgun out. May as well have a look around this area now, seeing as though we've cleared it. I'm hoping we get something good from here, because these guys are... They're not easy to get rid of. Wait, why can't I get your stuff? Oh, there we go. And again, I don't know what the uh, the Seeker Claws are for, but I'm absolutely going to hold on to them. There's another tire there. At this point, I'm just collecting stuff for the vehicle for general maintenance and things like that, right? Not really anything that I need. I've got two vehicles now. One for stacking any loot that we find, and the other one for all-out warfare. Look at that. I still got to make the bumper as well. I know that. I will get around to it. Anything in there? Oh, nice. Some food. Ammunition. Oh, also, a few people did say that there's nothing to be found in these, and a few of you guys are still saying it. So, I'm just going to keep checking them. Oh. I didn't realize we had one of you there. Oh, we got the troughs there too, or at least stuff we can plant things in. Some components. Look at these things, though. Look at that. I really hope further down the line there's some kind of scientist that goes through the biology of these creatures because I'd love to know. I don't know what it is about that. I love that kind of stuff where you break down the anatomy of something. Oh, no. Guess my juice is flowing. I know I'm weird. All right, let's get to the top. Please, please don't die. Oh, my God. My palms would be so sweaty right now worrying about this. Right, do we want, want to go? Oh, we're already going up. Oh, we're going up. Oh, okay, I didn't really get a choice there. I mean, this is a good sniper spot. Do we have that with us? Switch to this. <laughs> we don't want to switch to the chainsaw. Oh, that might be good against the Seekers, though. Look at that. Overview all the way into the town. All the way over to the church. All the way over there as well. What is that? It's just a lock of... Oh, it's the tower, right? Light this up. And... Not seeing anything else. This thing here. Oh, I don't want to get too close to it. I hate them. Burn. Some more rags. What's that? Time to die. Not yet. Scrap. Nine mil. Firewood. Wait. Wait, why didn't you burn up? I suppose I don't really need to because it's not actually giving off the gas, but... It's just some kind of mass, isn't it? I don't actually know. I mean, a lot of you guys were saying it could be the beginnings of like a nest for something. If you've been around the channel for a while, you already know this because I've said it quite a few times, but I would love an apocalyptic game where you had to have a horse and look after it as your only mode of transportation. I would absolutely love that. I mean, even with something like Mist, eventually if the fuel runs out and there's like a horse that you can tame that's just in the wild, that's broken free from something like this, and you gain its trust and then it's... Whoa! We've got another AK. Nice. I still need to fix up the other one back there too because we can use some of the attachments as well from the uh, M4. Oh, nice. Some more rifle rounds. But yeah, I would absolutely love that. The idea of having a friend, like with the dog too, obviously I need, to, <laughs> I need to go back and get Leo as well. But just the idea of having that as your mode of transportation because the world you know is now different. Let's climb this. Another good sniping spot. If we could use this as a home, obviously we'd knock that thing down there. Anything that we can have? Fishing line. You guys already know. <laughs> Chain. The chainsaw. Some books as well. I can't really underestimate like how good that would be as well. Finding like random books in the apocalypse. If you've seen uh, I Am Legend, where Will Smith goes to the, uh, the to the store to get some like DVDs and things like that, you would be doing that, wouldn't you? Just to pass the time, just get past another day. Ladies' night, cocktails at Joe's place, ten thirty. Another hat, two hats. I have tried as well to uh, outfit the other survivors. I don't think I can do it yet unless I'm doing something wrong. Are they some undies? 
Let's not get too close to them. So cool having control of the vehicle as well as the turret when you're in this. So much fun. All right, let's park this up right here. That works. Lights off, engine off. Let's climb out of that. We'll absolutely be doing more of that. We've not got all the ammunition in the world, but we managed to uh, take down two Seekers, which we've been waiting to do for the longest time, and we got some good stuff here as well. Another weapon. we still got the car jack, some chains for the chainsaw in case we need to chop some more stuff down. Yeah, we're looking really, really good now. Okay, so as things stand right now, I definitely need some more food so I can either go hunting again. Oh, no, you know what? Yeah, no, we're definitely going fishing. You guys already know. I love doing it. And seeing as though it's right there as well and we can get it, we definitely need to do that. So let's check in our equipment real quick. If we go to the back and then fishing. 75. We just picked up another reel as well. Didn't we pick up another one? I think it might be in the back of the car. We've definitely got another lure. The rod is doing okay. We did find another rod as well, which was just behind us on the uh, the shack at the top of the uh, ridge there. And I'm fairly sure we've got another reel. So yeah, we've got another line, another reel. Yeah, we should be okay. we still got a fish in there as well. So we can definitely do that. But in terms of like adventures and journeys that we need to go on, we absolutely need to go into the mine. One, for the resources to see what we can get. Two, to take down that mutant that some of you may or may not have seen, which people are calling the Berserker. And... There's also another mission down there where we need to activate a line for the elevator, I believe. And not to mention, we also found something down in the tunnels where there was a little crawl space that we need to go through. And I think we're going to have our hands full. So for now, guys, I think this is where we're going to end it. I'm going to organize this area and I think saddle up ready for a big fight down in the mines. So as always, you guys are enjoying this. Please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything. And I'll see you all in the next one.